ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 नीलांबुज श्यामलकोमल सीता सरोपित वाम भाग पाणौ महासायक चारु चापम नमा राम रघुवंशनाथ लॉर्ड रामा उस कंप्लेक्शन इज लाइक ए ब्लू लोटस वेरी टेंडर एंड डिलाइटफुल इन अपियरेंस सीता इज सीटेड ऑन हिज लेफ्ट साइड कैरिंग अ पावरफुल बो एंड एरो इन हिज हैंड्स श्री रामचरित मानस भाई श्री स्वामी गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी एंड अयोध्या कांड वर्ष नंबर इज टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एंड द कॉन्टेक्सट इन स्टोरी लाइन इज भरता शत्रुघ्न निषाद गुहा दे आर टूगेदर लीडिंग ए भास्ट assembly royal all royal great personalities behind and chaturanga chaturangini sena and a vast army and just to remind you in a very allegorical way the role of bhakti is being brought before your eyes or better to say before your ears <laughs> रघुबर बरन बिलो की बर वारी समेत समाज होत मगन वारी दिवीर चढ़े विवेक जहाज दार पार्टी खेम टू द बैंक्स ऑफ यमुना रिवर विद द प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ क्रॉसिंग द रिवर एंड वेन द लुक एट ब्यूटिफुल रिवर एक्सप्रेसिंग a blue swarthy glow and that ignited in their heart pain of separation they looked at the abuna who were just like you were missing a loved one and we look at a little picture heart <laughs> getting ignited it suddenly ignited how how can we meet rama and the entire yamuna river seemed like a big ocean to cross over now in this situation bharata was also profoundly touched most profoundly and extremely afflicted with viraha vyatha the pain of separation but at that time bharata directed his attention that very soon he is going to have the direct darshan of ram once that insight entered because the whole project was to meet ram this insight as if came like we wake a jahaj the whole ship appeared as it were it's a poetic writing <laughs> this now same yamuna river became a a basis for a wonderful exploration So now we entered the ship. We were not afraid of drowning in the river or staying long, crossing with your arms and your legs in a swimming manner. <laughs> we wake the hajj, and the same predicament. Now they view it with great joy. Subtle messages. 
first stage if your mind has become very spiritually mature they will then you become keenly interested in uniting with god but during that time suddenly your mind presents a big distance between god and you so distant and you have nothing to no vehicle nothing that can quickly take you and between god and you a river is flowing big river but if you have devotional progress you are not thwarted discouraged by the sight that there is a big distance to cross the entire distance idea becomes very little when bhakti movement as if miraculously presents a big ship so instead of sinking into despair suddenly joy surged in his heart utsah subtle point to understand the role of aavesh and utsah something you want very deeply your whole personality develops aaveg aaveg means want to get it quick 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 <laughs> say quick many times we'll see how the pace <laughs> <laughs> That's our way. Let me give you a cruder illustration. Someone is your near dear one has slipped into a swimming pool and go doing up and down, and you have no swimming lessons before, <laughs> and suddenly you feel like jumping. and sometimes you do jump thereby you are risking yourself as well as the one whom you want to save so that's called aavesh and simple proverb everybody knows haste makes waste <laughs> controlling that haste is a profound spiritual art and it is characteristic of your spiritual progress in every situation someone has said things that has to your heart it immediately aavesh what word can i find which is the ugliest word <laughs> I shoot this person and this way, arrow of my tongue. I'm just giving you another earlier colour. Or in a way, you do certain things that are completely negative to yourself. You hurt yourself. and it takes time to heal utsah implies you begin to figure out that you have god within you you're guided by god and put more drawing more support from god you are bound to succeed if you are adopting the right course how long will it take your mind should not get involved with that rather there develops a situation when even though you are facing big challenges your heart develops a sense of trust you are going to overcome and you begin to also develop a sense of accomplishment every layer of obstacle that you have overcome gives you more strength like adventurer every height 
he climbs, gives him more strength to climb bigger height. So the same process that is filled with negativity, all pathetic, the same now becomes filled with flashes of joy, delight. That movement, that type of energy is called utsah. So understand the difference between avesh and utsah. It's avesh that puts you in a state of helplessness, despair. You begin to think. Utsah, you begin to think. Jamun teer tehi din kari basu bhayau samaya sama sabahi supasu. On that day, they spent their night by Yamuna by the banks of the Yamuna River, and Nishadaraj Guha had arranged all convenience. So, according to the need of all people. Everything was well arranged. Their food, their rest, their sleep, their bed, all was arranged by Guha Nisha. And he's, he's, he's a king with, and his subjects. Philosophically you understand Guha Nisha is Matri Bhavana, the deep at heart level you do not face any challenge with Bari Bhavana. Bari Bhavana, this challenge is coming from a demon and it is and it's absolutely meaningless, demoniac. If you have that Bari Bhavana, Bari Bhavana is also Broadway, contradictory state of mind. If you reigns too much, you develop Bairi Bhavana. Why it is raining? I will get pneumonia. <laughs> so in every situation, some anything that slightly displeases you, you begin to develop Bairi Bhavana. But you have Matri Bhavana. Because behind every situation, you can resolve this situation by thoughtfulness. And thoughtfulness comes, your mind is resting with the bhavana that God has put you in that situation and there is a purpose behind it. So it's kind of a, a friendly setup. It's not unfriendly setup. <laughs> Demon has not uh, created the world. The world has been created by God. Bhayau samaya sama sabahi supasu. Another point is the statement is subtle and profound. When you are facing certain situation, your mind is thinking of so many things. What will happen to the politics? What will happen to societies, what will happen to animals, birds, trees, and I'm joking, but rather giving you extension of worries and anxieties. Even if a storm comes, you have multitude of problems that your mind starts facing. But if you have that battery bhavana allowing your thinking process to calm down, and be active in an environment of devotional, Godward mind, then grace works wonders. Everything that you desire, everything that you expect, and all the problems that you had before you, all begin to move away. That was supasu. Things that were difficult to pass through. (laughs) 
Now everything becomes so settled that it's so easy for you to pass. Rati hi ghat ghat ki tarani, aahi agnit jahi na barani. In storyline, during that night, Nishad Raj had arranged countless boats to be in that Yamuna river at that in that area, so that when people have rested, they will get into the boats and cross. And how many boats? I agonit, countless, millions. This is Aligarh kind of story. We are not dealing with ordinary river. Prata parag ay bhai e kahi khewa, तो शे राम रक्षका की सेवा सच वॉज दी सर्विस रेंडर्ड बाय गुहा निषाद दट वेन दे एंटर देयर बोट वन प्लाउंग मूवमेंट वन मूवमेंट ऑफ रोइंग अदरवाइज से रो रो योर बोट And begin to row, <laughs> weep. <laughs> Because the distance is so far. <laughs> But they did only one row, and the boat was up to the other bank. <laughs> the role of matri bhava. Guhani Shad had arranged all that. Having crossed over, chale na hai na dihi sir na hai, saath ni Shad na th do bhai. They took their sacred holy baths in the Gange in the Yamuna River and Bharata. Satrugna and Nishad, they they did the same, and having taken baths, they offer adorations to the goddess Yamuna, and then they proceeded with their journey towards Ram. Aage Muni var paan aache, raj samaj jai sabu paache. कही पाछे दो बावन धुपया दे भूषण बसन वेश सुठी सा दे दिस पिक्चर ऑफ हाउ दे आर गोइंग भरता एंड शत्रुघ्ना एंड निषाद दे आर इन द फ्रंट बिहाइंड यू हैव ऑल द राज समाज एंड दे हैव ऑल्सो इन ऑर्डर Sages and saints, Vashistha Muni, they have their stage, and, and all the assembly, and behind them all, vast army. And the manner in which Bharata and Shatrughna are going, that manner is described. Of course, Bharata is the focus. Bhushan, Basan, Vesha, Suti. साधे साधे दे आर क्लोथ एडोर्नमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी आर कंप्लीटली सिंपल एंड दे आर गोइंग बेयर फुटेड दिस अगेन एलेगोरिकल नॉट टू बी टेकन डिटरल इन द मैसेज बिहाइंड इट सिंप्लिसिटी एंड and of course the strength of faith sevaka surid sachiva sutama satha sumirat laghanu siya raghuna tha and very close to bharata shatrughna and guhanishad 
there is a whole a group of people. They are the servants, the royal friends, ministers. They have all, they are all joined. There is a whole satsanga atmosphere. And what they are talking? They are talking about Lakshmana, Sita, Rama. Jahan jahan Rama Bhasa Vishrama, taha taha karahi saprema pranama. And wherever they hear about any spot that was touched by Rama, Lakshmana, Sita in their journey, they become so thrilled to see it. If it is a tree, or if it is a spot, or if it is any remnants, Sita Ji's little drops of special things people wear in the body, their shine, anything that would remind them of their being there. So wherever Rama had passed through, rested, wherever he had rested, Meeting those spots, Bharata offers pranam, great adorations, full of his overwhelming heart, what is being pointed out to, that in your devotional movement, God is Rama whom you want to meet. Whatever spot inspires you. A beautiful flower blossom, it inspires you. That inspiration you should take advantage of. Turn your mind at that time, fold your hands. If you don't like to fold, it doesn't matter. In your heart. <laughs> that Rama has touched it. But what I am leading you to understand, this is how your journey starts. Soon you find the spots touched by Rama are many. <laughs> Until, of course, you meet Rama. But what I am leading you to understand that as mind gains purity by devotion, God's presence that was confined only into some little things of the world. Your inspiring spots were very little. Now those spots increase. How much? There is no limit. Siya Ram Mai Sab Jagajani. Not only Rama touched and went, he is there in every name and form. <laughs> but you can't suddenly jump to that level. So therefore, in the, even the Gita presents Vibhuti. See, certain things, people, or whatever that you know of the world, anything that has, that delights your mind, your mind says, wow! Behind that wow, realize this is God's glory. So in the beginning, you have some highlight, highlighted things that inspire. Go to advance, even the thorny things inspire. Because you understand, if a rose bush that didn't have thorn, the flower, flower will not have sufficient nourishment to bloom. <laughs> I'm joking, but this is science. <laughs> and you don't have to look around. Hmm. God abides your word very hard. Look into your eyes. Ask your eyes, what lies behind your eyes? <laughs> what makes you weak? What makes you wonder so much? It's little, little things. The whole world becomes so interesting. 
who is behind god is the indwelling reality in every individual and your entire body is his play maya and therefore for spiritual aspirant this has been told that deho devalayo prokto view your body as a temple so i led you how in the beginning you are just finding little little spots and takes a long time to find put in a very broad way you hear the glory of satsanga but now there comes question which satsanga you <laughs> takes one month to make a research for a satisfactory satsanga I feel we are highly advanced. <laughs> Everything in the world is gives you an opportunity for satsang. Your children, near and dear ones, your teacher teaching students, the students inspire the teacher. The teacher is learning also from the students while he is teaching. in other words god no longer remains a distant god is your very source your reality he is your swarup innermost essence magwasi nar nari magwasi nar nari suni dham kam taj dhai dekhi swarup saneh sab mudit janam phalu pai as you are passing they are passing through many villages the path goes through those village men and women when this news reaches their ears that divine personalities bharata and shatrughna with all the royal assembly and party and the army are passing through the roads and there is now opportunity to have the darshan of bharata and shatru dham kam taji immediately they get out of the house leave aside every little work they were doing and run to have darshan of bharata and now don't take it literally running <laughs> the message even though you are busy which is as long as you live you have to perform various things which must be done but while you are doing you are not drowned in what you are doing in spite of all the things you do you are as if far away from things around you put it still more simplified way no matter how you are facing your situations in life facing the situations keeping the mind busy with problems the village language called dhanj manj <laughs> and anybody says do some bhakti say, i have no time now <laughs> to do so many things from morning till evening but come to a mature state dhanj manj chhad kar <laughs> ram naam bhajan kar abandoning all dhanj manj detaching your mind and your mind is singing the praise of god your hands are busy your feet are busy your activity goes on even if your mind is busy your heart goes on is creating the taste of god's presence that's that's here brought in a allegorical way the men and women they all rush out their houses leaving everything behind 
Then I worry, if the fire is burning, I'll let it burn. Dekhi sarupa sa neha sab mudita janama phalu paai. And having been blessed with the darshan of Bharata and Shatrughana, they find that their the whole purpose of their being born as a human being has been fulfilled. Janma Sufal Hoge. Kahahi Sape Me Eka Eka Pahi Ramu Lakhan Saki Hohi Ki Nahi But now they are being presented different angles directed towards Bharata and Shatruga. Viewing bhakti movement from different angles. And they are brought out in the form of their they themselves are talking about the experience among themselves. They are telling to each other that they had seen Rama and Lakmana passing by. But these two are not, they look like Rama and Lakshmana. But are they Rama and Lakshmana? Bapu bapu baran rupu soi ali, shil saneha sarisa samachali. Women talking among themselves. One of them is saying, their form, their manners, everything is exactly like Rama and Lakshmana. Their shil, the way their mode of their activity, their good heartedness. All that and their manners, all that is like Rama and Lakshman. Are they really? Veshuna no na so saki si yana sangha, aage ani chali chaturanga. But there's a difference. They don't have the type of dress that Rama, Lakshmana had. And big difference. Sita is not with, with them. Another big difference. And there is a whole Chaturangini Sena. Vast army. Nahi prasanna mukamana sakheda. Another difference. Their faces are Showing stress. Who are they? Tasu tarak tiye ganaman mani kahi sakal tehi samna sayani. Friends, companions, they say, you are saying very reasonable things. You are very clever and wise. How you have recognized these two people and described them? Another person in their, uh, in their company says, in sweet words, Kahi sape me sab katha prasangu, Jai vidhi ram rajara sabhangu. That particular lady was informed of Rama's story, how he, Lakshmana and etc. had been sent to the forest because of the, the royal conspiracy created by Kei Kei. I am using the same words of the Ramayana. Bharat nahi bahu risarahan lagi, shil saneha subhaya subhagi. And Bharata is that Rama's brother. And looking at Bharata, they the praise of Bharata's shield, the manner in which he is disposition, gentle, gracious, snake, full of tender heart and radiating a divine aura. Chalatapayade khatapal pitadin tajiraju 
जात मना वन रघु बरही भरत सरिस को आज दिस लेडी गिव्स द एग्जैक्ट न्यूज फैक्ट दैट दे आर गोइंग बेयर फुटेड मींस विथ सिंप्लिसिटी खात फल all they eat is only fruits it is first point eating only fruits sattvic sattvic aahar take it very literally food that you eat comes in three grades raj tamasic rajasic sattvic and you must focus on more on sattvic and mixture of other should be completely low otherwise tamas may be high in your food but that's one level more profounder level every intake what you were listening the company you are keeping what type of atmosphere you are in all that is giving you an internal psychic nourishment and psychic intake like food and Un- unwittingly you are in- making your mind depressed by wrong type of mental food so aahara shuddha satya shuddhi if you have your ahar your intake is purified that purifies your whole heart and that's being pointed out in bharata hi khat phal fruits and i can give you another meaning live to eat up the fruit of karmas let not the fruit of karma eat you up <laughs> father gave him kingdom but bharata abandoned the kingdom and he is going to persuade rama to come back and be the king who can be like bharata how great is he that's the game is a great inspiring example for the masses masses always have read people go after power and get glory and kingdom this type of event is very rare as someone who has all the opportunity of having the greatest power and he is renouncing it. for honoring his elder brother so you can take it from different angles the ramayana inspires society how to adopt a cultural ideal and inspires aspirants how to follow the integral path the profound practice is done by every individual in a subjective way भाय प भगति भरता चरणु कहत सुनत दुख दूषण हरणु नाउ भरता इज दे आर प्रेजिंग भरता फर्स्टली भाय हिज ब्रदरली लव सेकेंड पॉइंट भक्ति हिज डिवाइन लव एंड कंडक्टिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज टू पॉइंट्स ब्रदर brotherly love and divine love broad way to understand you look at all humanity with the spirit of brotherhood sisterhood as long as we have good wood <laughs> so those types of talks that promote brotherhood and that promote devotion to god 
that is the picture of satsanga create satsanga atmosphere and bharata is exemplifying that movement kahat sunat if those these two inspiring projects if you just speak about it it is it will remove pain dukh and removes dushan negative qualities of your personality simply by saying it in other words when you are giving gyan yagya you are telling the story of ramayana mahabharata bhagavat purana or any religious scripture you are kahat and sometimes you don't kahat sunat You sit in satsanga and listen, <laughs> whichever way, both ways. It ends up removing your dukh. It ends. It leads you to the goal of your life. The goal of your life where pain vanishes and. impurities of your heart are washed away jo ki chuka hab tor sakhi sohi ram bandhu as kahe na hoi this is a wise lady says sir all this glory that we i am singing is very little bharata is much more and there is no wonder he is rama's brother and with this we will continue to om ram 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 om om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya o and prayer for the shower of karuna maya ras of divine grace over all of you the nectar in shower of divine grace that heals all troubles all ailments and turns ma- maladies into melodies and sabko sanmati de bhagwan may every individual be blessed with that understanding that vision that insight that will lead the soul to its goal its attainment of liberation and you then you become rid of mortality virus mrityu virus and that's the biggest virus no matter how much clever you are to be rid of all the viruses of the world but this virus mortality and that is your goal and mate god bless you with that om trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam उर्वाकुंभबंधना मृत्योर्मुख्यमृता सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामद्रा पश्यंत मा कचिदुख भाग भवे ओं शाति 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 हरिओं सर्वे